We are currently standing in a precipice in time where plant genetic resources have never been so vital in safeguarding our food and nutritional security by preventing famines uh, in the face of man-made uh, natural disasters and of course climate change. CPACT is embarked on the road to become a center of excellence in effectively conserving genetic resources, effectively distributing them and promoting their use um, in the region and also outside the Pacific. CPACT, the Center of Pacific Crops and Trees, is the only gene bank in the region that plays a key role in assisting Pacific Island countries and territories to sustainably conserve and utilize their plant genetic resources, uh, adding value to those plant genetic resources. At the same time, the center facilitates access to improved uh, crop diversity from outside the region to address food and nutritional security and improved resilience uh, to climate change and pests and diseases in inclusion. is uh, helping Fiji in accessing Now we are increasing our di genetic diversity. Now we are introducing the leaf black the varieties, the Asian varieties are coming in. You know? Taro is one of the oldest cultivated crops. There are evidence that it has been in the region for more than 4,000 years. It has a great economic and cultural importance. Just in terms of uh, export commodities, it's one of the top export commodities in Fiji, Samoa and other places. It has a social significance, it's, it's a currency for ensuring social cohesion. It has also a cultural significance alongside with kava and others. Part of the SPC is a regional initiative to build capacity on, on taro leaf blight in the Pacific because of the lesson to learn from Samoa. TL beef, uh, known as taro leaf blight, is one of the most severe diseases that could affect uh, taro and it would it could cause up to the loss of 50 percent of yield loss damage to corn even at post, post harvest the impact of taro leaf blight on samoa and the erosion of genetic diversity in the pacific added to the threat of communicating this disease to other pacific island countries gave rise to a specific project called taro gene in 1998 um, so under this tarot gene uh, SPC, uh, CPACT collected 2,200 accessions from 10 Pacific countries and CPACT was then mandated to conserve and store this germplasm. CPACT across the years supported participatory breeding efforts and a number of projects were there, INIA and others, uh, increased our collection capacity. And as CPACT um, were designated to the International Treaty in 2009, uh, elite tarot lines conserved by us uh, are now available globally. Uh, so that made us uh, the biggest uh, tarot uh, center for diversity. We actually nowadays hold a total of 1,165 uh, tarot resources that are held uh, uh, in, C in CPACT and that is considered as the largest tarot collection uh, ex situ in the world. CPAC collections are shared with many different countries uh, around the world. Uh, 47 countries uh, across the world have, have received CPAC material. Out of these, 24 are non-Pacific countries uh, spanning all regions of Africa, South America, Asia, different islands in the Indian Ocean, the Caribbean. These uh, accessions contribute to improving drought tolerance in many of these uh, places, building their, uh, resi the local resistance to uh, varieties, uh, to pests and diseases, like the example of, of taro leaf blight and others. Um, so in, in total, 22,000 uh, plant samples have been distributed globally by CPAC between 2004 and 2017, which is um, a, a great contribution um, to many breeding efforts across the world for Taro. Together with our national partners, uh, there are uh, extensive breeding efforts ongoing for breeding material that is resistant to those uh, stresses and abiotic stresses and diseases, uh, insects and other uh, pests. Um, 
so breeding is one thing, but biosecurity measures uh, in on plant and plant derivatives exchange is is also important uh, to to prohibit prevent that kind of disease to spread out from one island to. Fiji markets or any other markets in the Pacific would provide a, a huge diversity of colors, uh, fruits and vegetables all around. Uh, if you walk today to, to Suva market, for instance, you would be able to look, see uh, different sorts of taro uh, grown there, coming from breeding efforts, uh, hybrids of our national company taro that is, is ta specifically targeted for a certain uh, applications for its culinary taste and its um, nutritional richness. In priority Pacific Island countries and territories are the primary beneficiaries of our work, but through our linkages with the CGIR centers around the world and the Crop Trust, we also have a global uh, impact. Um, so, um, another set of uh, studies where we have uh, provided through uh, the uh, national breeding programs material that is, has been developed in the Pacific and that is currently used in other parts of the world like Africa, Caribbean and um, Latin America to improve uh, their uh, disease and varieties uh, and, and pest resistance. As a result of our efforts in conserving and distributing material that is clean and safe from uh, diseases and pests, we were able to distribute up to 2018 22,000 accessions for 47 countries around the world. Uh, these uh, plant samples are being currently used for, uh, to address challenges raised by climate change, nutritional security and food security around the world. We want to make uh, CPACT an effective conservation center, ex situ and in situ, and also reach out uh, and build capacities uh, for conservation and use around the values of our germplasm together with our partners. We want to turn CPACT into a central hub uh, for an effective Pacific uh, seed system. Uh, for that, uh, the Land Resources Division is uh, developing um, a series of integrated programs like the Pacific Seeds for Life that uh, aims at building network uh, to support evaluation and drive utilization of the CPAC uh, plant material that we use. Uh, so within five years time um, CPAC uh, will become a center of excellence that is uh, responding to international standards in uh, efficiently conserving genetic resources, distributing them and serving uh, food security not only in the Pacific but also in the world.